Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to show you our bathroom remodel for our boys' room. We are remodeling the entire bathroom except for the flooring. We are leaving that, but everything else is coming out. These faucets have seen better days and they are so hard to turn on. So that was a real struggle for bedtime routine. But anyhow, today we're going to just rip everything out and start fresh. So we're going to get a new top, new faucets. This video is sponsored by Fister Faucets, you guys. So thank you so much, Fister Faucets, for sponsoring this video. So everything that you see, the hardware and faucets, will be replaced with brand new Fister Faucets. This cabinet here did not have any kind of pulls, so it was very hard to open those drawers and cabinet doors. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. So first things first, we are removing the countertop. So Eric is here removing all the little tiles. Then he's going to remove the sinks as well as remove the top. And then we are going to paint and add hardware to the cabinet. All right, it is already starting to look so good. So now, since I have some time, I wanted to add this contact paper on the bottom of each cabinet. It isn't really like bad inside of the cabinet bottoms, like they didn't have a lot of water damage or anything like that. But I did want to add this as a preventative measure since they still look really good. I wanted to add this in case for future. But it's really cute and it's marble contact paper that we found at Lowe's. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna, going to do is clean the bottom of the cabinet really well because there's dust and little crumbs, pieces of tape, stuff like that. So I'm gonna clean that off really well and then I can put my paper in there and measure it. So what I'm going to do is I use the edge that came from the factory as my straight edge and I lay that straight across there. I just press with my fingernail to crease it all the way down and there is a really cool ruler on the back of this paper so I just creased it a little bit and then I followed the lines and I cut a really straight line. This paper is really awesome because if you make a mistake and you stick it in the wrong spot you can easily remove it and try again. So I didn't get any tears or anything and it was super easy. Then I, when I got to the other end, I just use an X-Acto knife or box cutter and um, just cut that piece right off. So I had Eric help me out with this part, the painting. It was not too bad, but the color yellow just had to go. We brightened it up with this Asiago color. We found these really awesome vanity lights over at the Home Depot and they just really seemed to pull everything together. They came in the satin nickel and they were super affordable. So we are so happy that we were able to find these. So this is how the vanity lights look when they are mounted up on the wall. We still need the light bulbs and the glass covering there. And anyhow, we're gonna move on to the next part because we didn't want to attach the glass to the vanity lights because in case they might get damaged. So Eric had to get a piece of plywood and cut out the sinkholes so we can place the new countertop right on top of that because you want it to have some stability under there. So that's why he did that. Now he's just squaring it all up and gave me a thumbs up. All right, you guys, this is the big reveal of our bathroom, our boys' bathroom. We really love how this turned out. We actually left the cabinetry here, the vanity, and we sanded it down and painted it this really beautiful color that we found at Lowe's. This cabinet did not have hardware before, so we picked up this beautiful satin nickel. 
And then inside, we actually did this contact paper that looks like marble, and it turned out so beautiful, you guys, and so clean looking. We found these really beautiful sinks over at Lowe's, and to top it off, these amazing Fister faucets that we have been using throughout our whole house. We are so happy with this brand. I love the spot finish because in the boys' bathroom, of course, it's going to be kind of messy and we want to be able to clean this up so easy. I love how easy it is to use this push down and my boys appreciate it too. Don't worry, my sinks have these overflow holes so we won't have any disasters with overflowing in our bathroom. So anyways you guys, here is the new lights that we installed and we left them here because we thought it looked so pretty and made the space look very big and beautiful. Of course, I had to add my plant here, my ZZ, right in the space. It just brightens it up and livens it up. This mirror we did replace with this beautiful beveled edge glass from Lowe's. The kids have their pretend shaving and personal hygiene things in there. This really beautiful towel holder is from Fister Faucets and these towels are from Target, you guys. I love the style of these towel holders and it's so easy because it's right here, right by the seat. Boys can easily wash their hands and grab the towel. There aren't any splashes and puddles all over the place. And this top is actually laminate and it looks so awesome and we did not want to spend a ton of money in here so we thought this would be the perfect addition it looks really awesome eric did an amazing job installing it so he is awesome so thanks so much eric here is another towel bar right here this collection is called the ladera collection so these are the four inch on center faucets and they're matching and everything just ties in so beautiful especially with the hardware here and in here is the bathroom the water closet the toilet area and so you walk in here and we did not replace the toilet we left this one as is because it's the short toilet and my kids just love having toilets that are more their size so we didn't replace that we did replace the toilet paper holder with one of these from ladera it easily goes up and you can remove your toilet roll and then easily snaps back down we also replaced all of the light switches to these toggle switches in the shower, we also replaced this with the beautiful Ladera collection. This shower is amazing and it feels so great to take a shower up here, you guys, because this is adjustable. You can adjust to what kind of spray you want to come out of here. And it's just, it's just so lovely to have that so that you can adjust the spray. And everything is just so beautiful. We just love the finish of this. It is just amazing. And we are so grateful to have been able to work with Fister on this. We also replaced this shower rod. There was one here before, but it was in very bad condition. So we just ended up ripping it down. And then we found some really awesome shower curtain. It's a bit wrinkled, but I think the wrinkles will just naturally fall out. It's made of fabric and I found this on Amazon and look how beautiful and long it is. I think it's just so nice. It brighten up, brightens up the whole room. And then we found these at Amazon as well. They slide so easy. And then of course, a plastic liner that goes on the inside. 
so I just love this liner. It has the magnets on the bottom there to hold it in place. But these hooks are cool because they have like a hook on each side. So you can hook the fabric, curtain here, and then the plastic one here. All right. And then you guys, and then we replace all of the towel bars with the Ladera Collection towel bars. These are just so beautiful. They're luxurious, affordable. And then we paired it with the towels from that I found at Target. And I'm gonna try to link everything for you guys down below in case you are interested. These handles are from Quickset. We have these throughout our whole entire house. We love them so much. We've had these in our other house and they were just amazing. We have four kids, so they're constantly pulling on them, slamming doors, and you know what kids do. So here's another light switch that we replaced, the other towel bar in here. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe for more i do a lot of videos on here about lifestyle planting gardening you name it and i think you guys will enjoy it if you like stuff like this diys remodels so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys here on the next one